All right, welcome back, everybody. Hey, hey. hey. We are the Woody Show. Alter Ego 2024 is happening. Paramore, The Black Keys, Bush, Sum 41, The 1975, 30 yes. Seconds to Mars, Yellow Card, Lovely the Band, and more. And we are lucky to have one of the uh, one of the front men from one of these great bands mm-hmm. in studio with us right now. Mystery guest, will you please say hello? Hello. I know exactly who that is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Can I take too. a guess first? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's Gavin Rostow yeah. from Bush. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, Gavin. Hi, how are you? Hello. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's great mm-hmm. to have you here, man. You uh, were one of my first ever big interviews in radio. Great. How did it go? Nin- it, you know what? <laughs> yeah. I was so yeah, how nervous. How were you? How were we? Uh, you were great. I was a nervous <laughs> mess. Uh, I was working in Portland, Oregon at the time and for a station, uh, KNRK. And you guys were playing a, a big show, and my wife at the time had this major crush on you. Like, you were her celebrity hall pass or whatever. Right, right. Mm-hmm. And so I was trying to impress <laughs> her with, like, uh, how cool we were. You know what I mean? I'm yeah, like, yeah. oh, hey, Gavin, what's up? I'm, like, wanting to throw up on the inside <laughs> yeah. because uh, I'm a big fan, and uh, <laughs> you uh, you were super, super nice and super cool. And uh, that was a big moment for me. Like I always, you always remember your first, right? Yeah, sure. like my sure. my first big yeah. band interview was yeah. uh, was Bush and you and Nigel Thank back you. in like yeah. 1997. And I'm Thank sure you. Gavin remembers all of it. He too. doesn't. That yeah. was, was my that was my first big interview. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was, I'm with Woody. Well, oh welcome. my god, it's Woody <laughs> finally. Yeah. Well, uh, welcome and uh, Thanks, a couple man. things going on. Just uh, so you know, besides Alter Ego with Bush, the greatest hits album 1994 to 2023. That's going to be out on November the 10th. Pre-orders are going on now, but the new single, Nowhere to Go, but everywhere. That is streaming now everywhere. And uh, they've got a North American tour, uh, which is on October 14th. That starts in Orlando and goes all across the country. But just um, just go to the uh, the website. You have all the dates there. So no matter what city you're in, there's got to be one uh, that's uh, that's coming around here close. So like um, on these, these shows that you're going to be doing, is this really going to kind of be like a greatest hits tour? I, I mean, I guess I always was like terrified of doing the greatest hits because I love having new songs and, sure. and keep moving sure. forward. And you, you get that sense. I always thought it was like a swan song. People were like, "Okay, see you later. I'm moving <laughs> yeah. to Maui." Yeah. Bye. So right. I, I didn't like. I was, I was like, "No, no." But um, it's been really amazing to put it together and uh, people's reactions. And so I think that yeah, I've been reluctant to put it out, but now um, that set list will have to definitely reflect that oh, record yeah. loaded. It'd be yeah. kind of fun to just play it where it's just. Because we were still four that we left off there, so there's going to be even a deluxe greatest hits. There's a new genre. Oh, so four. We're, oh, wow. we're doing a deluxe greatest hits. Four new nice. songs on the yeah. greatest hits. We, like no, the bonus no. Well, the four songs that were hits that didn't oh, they, make on that record. Oh, didn't even make the cut. There were 26. That what we didn't had. make the record? Uh, it was like uh, War Machine, Mad Love, Come and Down, two Serene, Machine Head, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Little Things, Everything's yeah. Zen, yeah. No yeah. Chemicals Between Us, something like that. Yeah, you got to say yeah. those. So no, we. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but how do you? I, I, I kind of wondered, like, the band decides what uh, what tracks go on those greatest hits albums, or like, it, and it, by the way, is it done by you know what were the biggest radio songs or biggest sellers or biggest reaction at like a show? I think it was mainly chronologically, apart from taking four out that we felt we would hold for the next record. The rest yeah. were just in an order. That's what I was just trying to be. I didn't. It's weird. I was just being really not helpful. My manager was trying to get me for weeks. Like, what's the order? What what songs are going to? I said, I don't know. Just do it chronologically. Yeah. I didn't want to leave anything off. Mm-hmm. And then he said, we have to leave four off. I said, well. Just promise we can bring him out at some point. He goes, yeah. So we're yeah. doing that. So I was like, chronologically, I think. Okay. I see. Right. You know, I don't know how that work, but uh, it's pretty fun to put together. And also, what I love is the artwork because I did the artwork for Sixteen Stone with a guy called Dave Carson from yeah. uh, 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 Reagan Magazine. It was a really big mm-hmm. design magazine back in the day. And uh, then I happened to meet the, uh, the publisher recently, Marvin. I worked with him on his magazine. And I said, oh, Dave Carson, Ray Gunn. He goes, oh, if you like Ray Gunn, Chris Ashworth was the guy along with Dave, but the, was our main guy. So I got him to do the artwork for the for Loaded. So there's a nice artwork for all the artwork lovers. You know, it's great seeing bands artwork. You know? Sure. It, mm-hmm. It's fun. Uh, and uh, they did a, he did an amazing job. There's one song that you want to play 
at every show. What is that? And of all the regular songs on the set list, what's this, the one song, if it was up to you, that you would never play again? Just be, uh, for whatever reason. Not uh, that you don't love oh. all your songs, but like, okay. just like, oh my God. Yeah, again. Like, really? Yeah. Well, I went, I go, you've fallen a little bit out of love with them. I haven't played Swallowed for a bit. Oh, ah, really? Okay. Um, is that on the greatest hits album? Yo, hell Gotta yeah. Gotta be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> has to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Has yeah. to be. They'd be a mutiny. But um, yeah. But then I play, when I play again, I like it again. Yeah. It's just like you just feel paranoid because you're always like, I got to write something better. Mm. So I got to keep yeah. keep pushing forward. And you, I, so mm. I, I do something and I feel really good about it. And then I go, um, now I play Chemicals and I hadn't played that for a while. Or I didn't play Greedy Fly for ages. Oh, And then I, I played it the other yeah. day. I, I, oh, yeah. I did a, I did a show with uh, Corey, Corey um, from Slitknot. And Corey Taylor. Corey Taylor. Yeah. And uh, we do it with Bert Kreischer's show. And he oh goes to God. me. Oh, no. <laughs> they go, what's the best so song you wish you'd written? To Corey. And he goes, Greedy Fly. All right. Oh, wow. I was like, that's got to go back on the set list. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I put that the next <laughs> night. I was like, what yeah. am I yeah. thinking? I'm an yeah. idiot. Uh, well, I mean, I'm an had idiot. So, so many big songs. So I, that went right so back in. So yeah. the, none of them, none of them get, I don't understand the thing with, you know, some people get really annoyed at their hits. I don't yeah. Some people right. like, they hate their big hits. I, I never got that. It's yeah. just like sort of hating your, hating your, your Dude, mom you, or something. It doesn't right. make yeah. sense. Yeah. Your a family. Dude. It doesn't yeah. make sense. We're not like, a band, but like, you know, we're up here I doing did, this I, show every day. It's like, man, if, a you, guy, if you love it, we'll do it every day. Yep. Yeah. 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 There's, a guy, know, there's a guy that I saw recently that he re remained nameless because I thought it was really uncool. He goes, uh, he playing playing a set and there's these unknown songs and he goes, and then here's the one that's paid the rent. <laughs> yeah. uh, it was a big hit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Something like, everybody loves. Yeah. yeah. I was like, ooh, it was so yeah. sad. I know the who song's that is. great. Well, uh, right. Josh, I'm not going to say who it is. I know a I'm Josh, having a good time. Um, Josh <laughs> from Queens of the Stone Age. <laughs> it wasn't he, uh, him. Wasn't no, no, him. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I know for Just a fact saying. it wasn't him. He, he did an interview with one of our friends, Stryker, who has his uh, podcast, Tuna on Toast. And he said in that interview, he's like, man, he goes, because I know every time I go play a show, we're going to play No One Knows mm -hmm. because the fans love that song and that's what they want to hear. And he said the bands and the artists or whatever who don't do that, he called them C-words. Yeah. Oh, wow. He used a very strong Crutchety? word. He crutchety. Yeah. Crutchety. Yes. yes. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> let me go back to the... Uh, Bert Kreischer, by the way, is a yeah. dear friend of The Woody Show. Mm -hmm. oh, he's we, incredible. We yeah. love Bert. He's mm -hmm. a great friend of ours. We hosted his uh, movie premiere that when he just had that, The Machine, that came out. Dude. I have never been more uncomfortable for somebody. And I, maybe because I know the guy, too. And when he had you and Corey on his uh, Something's Burning podcast, and uh, he said, so, uh, you ever been married? Or are, he said, are you married? Oh. oh. And Gavin says, uh, I, I was married. Yeah. <laughs> Bert goes to who? Oh, no. <laughs> I was never more was, uncomfortable. Uh, was, was there an edit in there? That's brilliant. my question. No, was there an edit no, in there? No, I, to I mean, the thing is, is that you go on those shows, uh, and you get you get done a couple of times, but you have to get mm -hmm. done a couple of times. Else yeah. It's not funny. Right. And so I love it. It's I was laughing my head off. Yeah. And he's a fun guy. He and I said right after that segment, I was like, don't cut that bit out. Yeah. <laughs> and then they got me so on something else. And then I, you know, you get them back. It just that's what it is. Right? Yeah. The repartee yeah. and like right. you gotta have a good you gotta be, yeah. you know, you gotta be a laugh. By the way, Gavin brought donuts. I know. So sure did. Yeah, I donuts. really want you to like. He us. Knows, yeah, he knows how to. Dude, you should see how many maple bars are. Oh yeah, my god, yeah. you're way too big and famous to bring us food. <laughs> like yeah. we would have you in no matter what. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, I was gonna yeah. say, speaking of famous, and I asked this to somebody else, and I can't remember who I asked it to, but I'm always dying to know. Hypothetically, you run into uh, a musician that you haven't met before. Le I mean, I'm sure you've met Dave Grohl, but let's just say Dave Grohl. Do you guys act like you already know each other, or is it like, "Hey, Gavin, hey, Dave"? Or you know, how does that work? I was talking about this with someone uh, yesterday. That if you, you know, like dentists have a like a language, accountants yeah, sure. will know each other. Uh -huh. So musicians, we have, we totally understand the process and understand things that other people won't know about the kind of minutiae, the kind of real details of our lives. Right. So yeah, there's a shorthand, but also like the other thing that's a bit weird. Uh, if people know you mm -hmm. with and they you're famous to them, a celebrity to them, mm -hmm. they there's already a there's a you, there's a, there's a relaxed kind of social interaction already, a familiarity, yeah, almost, familiarity yeah. exactly. That you, okay. people feel relaxed. They don't know you're not going to pop out and be someone else crazy, and you know, right? So so yeah, there's a shorthand that comes with that for sure. That's so interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still stuck on food over here. Okay, yeah. sorry. Because uh, I heard that you're launching a uh, a cooking show. Yep. Really? Yeah. yeah. Have you so, been working on it? I'm an idiot. Why? Why? Yeah. 
Um, hey, Little John's got a uh, a home and decorating show yeah, on HGTV. True. Why can't you have a cooking yeah, show? Yeah, yeah, sure. We could maybe do a collaboration. Uh, <laughs> you could build a kitchen for me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I, I like to cook and I like to, um, I never figured out. I was looking for things to do. I didn't have to leave home. I've got so many kids yeah. here in LA right. at mm-hmm. home mm-hmm. that um, I have to go away so much for touring. And I thought, well, how smart would it be to create things that you don't have to leave home for yeah right and the drag of it is is that i do a clothing line sea of sound which is doing just starting to do really good just coming out and I'm trying to do this cooking show which is like rock star kitchen chronicles um is it like tour bus cooking or no, is it like what kind know, of stuff are you making it's they're like make bougie food that tastes yeah. really good looks really good <laughs> a bougie home cook and yeah, then yeah. just sit and like Supply people with alcohol and just ask oh, questions. God, oh, yeah. that's, like a, a dream. Dream. that's a great yeah. dream, right I, there. I'm like trying not to pass out right now. It's <laughs> super straightforward. <laughs> Wine and bougie food <laughs> yeah, with geez. Gavin Ross still. Uh, yeah. I know. Okay, I mean, invite us over. Yeah, we're down. Yeah. So we shot two uh, two episodes, and now I'm going to start in January. Well, where hope. can you see it? Well, that's what we're just doing the deal now, and uh, so there's some internal stuff going on because. Uh, we have some big Israeli partners, for example. Oh. So it's super. So they're a little busy. A lot, lot of tragedy. Yeah. They called the office to speak to them, and they've been they've been called up. To the oh army. my god! Wow. They're not even wow. there. Not Whoa. even there. Damn. Yeah. That's like so. There's some. That's heavy. More yeah. important things going on right now. They but, can take but, uh, the back burner. But that's mm-hmm. on the cooking show. See, that was no a, that was a cooking yeah. thing. There that was, that was a no. cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reference. Well, Gavin Rossdale from Bush is here. Bush will be at Alter Ego 2024. Yes. Along with Paramore. And nice. The, the lineup's insane, right? I mean, it's so good. Really good. Paramore, the Black Keys, Sum 41. Which, by the way, they're like on their farewell go right. around. Yeah. This is this is going to be it for them for a while. I'm sure they're going to come back to make huge money uh, at some. Sure. You know, hey, remember us festival uh, years from now. But they're <laughs> they want to go do other things. But they're going to be playing uh, Alter Ego, the 1975, uh, 30 Seconds to Mars, Yellow Card, Lovely the Band, and a whole bunch more. It's happening Saturday, January 13th, at the Honda Center in Anaheim. So that's uh, that you still so living in Orange County. I, I still am, yeah. I'm okay, still, so that's nice I'm still and close. Still big Anaheim. It'll be yeah. a good now, will you drive, I never left. I never will you left. drive yourself? When I drove there, when I got there, when I first got there 25 years ago, I figured I couldn't leave. Yeah. <laughs> now, will you drive yourself to the show, or do you um, get somebody to do that for you? I don't, yeah. Driving this myself to the show, that feels a bit like that's, that's, that stops the fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fun stopper. Yeah. 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 What, kind of, uh, what kind of car do you drive? Uh, I, have, um, I have a Range Rover. Okay. Nice English, but I do like my. I I've, I have so many kids that I've, I've got sort of a big, um, big SUV for them, um, and uh, I like driving that because it's yeah. like yeah. Tank. yeah. I asked right. that question because we had Dave Grohl in here one time, and he was telling a story about how he saw these guys, and uh, they noticed that he was there. He saw they, these two guys at the car wash saw Dave uh-huh. at the car wash, and he heard them like taking bets on which car was his. And it totally like flipped them out when it was the minivan. So Dave <laughs> yeah. Grohl drove the minivan yeah. to the car wash. And these guys are like, no oh, way. Oh, like the soccer, the soccer minivan. Mm-hmm. That's right. right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and he wasn't lying because there's been videos yeah. on social media sure. of oh, yeah. him driving it. Yeah. I once yeah. had one of those uh, years ago um, when my kids were small. Um, that, that was decided the car that we should have. And we went to a someone's birthday party somewhere with the kids. And when I got out of the car, <laughs> People came up to me and asked me for um, pictures and autographs, and they said we weren't sure it was you because we saw you get out of that <laughs> space wagon. <Yeah. laughs> we no sure. way. That's cool. I was like, "Hey, what's wrong with that?" You know what I mean? Kids. Well, that just shows uh, that someone's going to be cool, man. You know what yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's just like a regular, regular dude. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were Gavin's brother. Yeah. Yeah. Gavin Rossdale from Bush yeah. is here, yes. Yes. playing Alter Ego 2024, Paramore, Black Keys, Sum 41, the 1975, 30 Seconds to Mars, Yellow Card, Love the Band, and more. Anaheim, California, the Honda Center, Saturday, January 13th, hosted by yours truly, The Woody Show. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, and also Bush's tour, the North American tour, getting underway November 14th. It starts in Orlando, makes its way around the country. They got a new single, Nowhere to Go, But Everywhere. Everywhere. Also, the uh, the greatest hits album, nineteen ninety four to nine or nineteen twenty three. Yeah, ah. to nineteen twenty three. Because they go backwards. That's not how you it look works. So good for a hundred. Nineteen ninety four yeah. to twenty twenty three. That's Bush's Loaded, the greatest hits album. That's uh, November tenth. That'll be out. We were talking a little bit about that uh, before the break. Uh, pre pre orders are live now. Fun fact: Gavin and I mm. share a birthday. 
Whoa. No way. October oh, 30th. Oh, yeah, the 30th? Wow. Yeah, yeah that's, that's so 30th. cool. That's and so cool. You like, already know this. Character as, traits. As like, somebody who yeah. was born on the 30th of October, mm-hmm. very few few cool people born on October 30th. All these other people have other cool uh, birthday pals. I have you. We were born. Yeah. That's I have you, right. and I have the Fonz. Henry oh. Winkler. Henry oh, Winkler. Winkler. That's yeah, the I remember that. Yeah. Cool. That's so, that's Wink great. dog. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's us My and friend Henry. Murphy Henry. Jensen, the legendary tennis player. Okay. Yeah. Take your word oh, for you, it. Well, you're yeah. really, he's really into tennis. Oh, okay. How do you feel about uh, pickleball? I mean, kind of taking some shine away from tennis. Yeah. You, you hate it? it? It feels like the kind of the crazy <laughs> golf of golf, and I don't like golf. <laughs> <Yeah>. but I, <laughs> the crazy golf of golf. I don't. <laughs> like, to me, it's it's. Uh, I see a lot of people loving yeah. it, and that's a great thing. It just, yeah. It's just pure. Like, you know, it's, it, you ski or you snowboard. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You, I just, I feel like yeah. a purist on that stuff. So I, I'm into tennis, but. I, a lot of people loving it, so that's a great thing. And they say something weird, like people that play racket sports like live weird amounts of time longer than any people that don't. Yeah. Oh yeah, really? it's all the it's all the stress you put your body through, the stress movements that we used to think like five years ago. Oh, that's really bad for us. And now we're all like, oh, we know about red light. And yeah. We know about <laughs> right. all these things. And actually, yeah. our mitochondria are happier if we're going. If we're, <laughs> yeah. Now if it doesn't we're, look like we, I know. we starve ourselves, and if we do ice therapy. Mm-hmm. Ice baths, yeah. yeah. And starve ourselves. So you put your body in shock. So right. by doing things that are <laughs> shocking to your body, yeah. it keeps you, if you rather than being sedentary and sitting with like, you know, fast food on your couch, that's why the whole thing you break up, you you keep your body lean and mean. See, I'm Allegedly. sitting here nodding. Yeah, because you're yeah. looking right at me. I see you. Like I'm, I'm sitting here nodding along. But you know, you wouldn't think about you wouldn't think about looking at me. But I did play tennis like growing up and as a kid. I, addicted, and to I it. loved it. I yeah. love. I played, and I actually was pretty decent at it. Mm-hmm. And the the thing that makes sense because I read a lot about it. working out. You can get ripped by reading about it or thinking about it or talking <laughs> yeah. about it. I'd yeah. be. I'd look better than you. Yeah. I would. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's a lot of that. Um, I've short... saved so many workout videos on Instagram that I've <laughs> right. never gone back to. <laughs> right, yeah, let exactly. me run that, let me run yeah, that yeah, set yeah. again. Yeah, let me yeah. get that never AI went back. workout. But, like, it's that short <laughs> burst high intensity stuff they say is really good, yeah. right? So that makes sense for, you know, yeah. tennis or yeah. those yeah. those racket sports. He's our own McEnroy. How old are you going to be this year? <laughs> uh, too old, 58. 58? Wow. wow. Dude, you, you look yeah, great. Bro. You really yeah. do. Thank you. You are the goal. It's all the tennis. Thank you. You know, but like, dude, being a rock star, being a good looking guy your whole life, like, do you have any insecurities? I'm riddled no. with them. That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a mad question. Like, am I not human? <laughs> <laughs> I know, but like, you would think, like, okay, I'm not yeah. actually AI. Yeah. Famous, no. famous I, rock star, I'm good built, looking yeah. guy. I mean, but I, I'm built you know. on, I'm, I'm built on, on madness and fear, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, the fear of what? Like, fear of failing? Like, that's a big uh, thing for me. The fear of, of not fulfilling my own potential, the fear of, sort yeah. of not, not reaching my goal. You know that certain stuff. It's not. It's not. I'm not a perfectionist. Like everything has to be perfect. But yeah. I have to be headed in the right direction. Yeah. To do stuff. Yeah. So um, I was thinking it's interesting talking to people who so many people look yeah. up to, and they think you know everybody's got this. You know, everybody's got a perfect life besides them, right? They see the, yeah. these famous people. Oh man, mm-hmm. their life. It's got to be so easy. And I'm always interested to find out. Like you yeah, know, it, may, it makes no sense when you think of it really honestly. Like you think look someone like the one of the greatest men we ever had, grace us, Anthony Bourdain. Yeah. You know? yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Coolest Most job. Man. Yeah. Coolest job. We all looked guy. at the thing. He, who yeah. wouldn't want to have dinner with him? Who right. want to be his friend? Right. Yeah. Who wouldn't have him over their house and be great f- friends with him? I know that Josh Hom was friends with him from the Queens of the Stone Age. Yeah. You know, and and he took his own life. So yeah. there's the indication. And uh, if anything, nowadays, uh, it's a really healthy dialogue about mental health. That yeah. We never used to have. No. And so we, you know, rock music and the stuff that we did is all built with all those issues in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Anger, and yeah. mm-hmm. pre-therapy, yeah, de- depression, and, and, uh, and that sort of alienation stuff. Uh, and now you see that it really is a massive, crazy problem. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, the, 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 so I think it's an incredible thing that everyone talks about it yeah. so much more. Now. Is that your therapy, like through music? Or I think like, so. Do you actually I think so. see like a I have life done. coach or a therapist? I have done. Like I was, li- life coaches sound so scary. I know, it doesn't sound. Yeah. Can you imagine like, I'm going to be a life yeah. coach. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Wow. Well, you got yeah. yeah. to believe, some... you got to believe in yourself mm. to be a life coach. I know somebody <laughs> yeah. who is. And uh, I mean, she's a really cool chick and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like, am I, you have business yeah, what are the cards qualifications say, exactly? I, I don't yeah. know because like Strange. sometimes her life is confidence. a mess too. Just sure. yeah. confidence yeah. is the main main thing. Right? I know. Good about life. Speaking of fear, does somebody of your caliber still get stage fright? Um, it like I will be nervous on this show because it's really great to be back at you know do it doing that show. So yeah, those big events with other bands, mm-hmm. and it, mainly the biggest one is like doing like when after Bowie died and 
I sang. Um, they had the, his alumni did a whole night mm -hmm. of shows of his songs at uh, um, downtown, wherever at Wilton. Uh -huh. And so I, I did. I'm afraid of Americans. Uh, oh yeah, great song. Yeah. And uh, with the with the original band. Oh wow. And then my heart was. I was in my mouth. I couldn't yeah. even speak. Oh wow. And I was. I ran out of the building when I finished. There's two nights. The second night, I enjoyed it. And then I, when I did the Lincoln Park thing for Chester, the oh. benefit after he passed, and I mm -hmm. sang. Uh, uh, one of their songs which was so uh, leave out all the rest which is uh, when mm. my time comes forget mm -hmm. the wrongs that I've I've done oh my yeah. god leave out all the rest it's just like I was just, just didn't want to mess it up for the fans yeah. for him wow. for his family yeah so those times I, I it's like I just can't even speak you know it's crazy I mm. um I heard a story you know that you told long ago in some interview about like in your early days of Bush or just being a musician like the thing that held you back the most, the feedback that you got from you know these people, it was about your voice. They didn't think that you had a good voice, which is mm, crazy. That's insane. I know, right? Like when you think about all that you've accomplished, and you're known for having like one of the most unique, no, iconic voices, especially of like '90s era rock. Oh, definitely. And all, and yeah, I think that it's um, yeah, it's just how it goes, isn't it? Like you're, there isn't there's that line in that the Grace Jones um, on that record she did with Trevor Horn, uh, where you. Use your defects, then you're going to be. A, use your faults, use your yeah. defects, then you're going to be a star. But did you get in your head about that? Like, or like, what do you do well, when people tell you that? Did you try to change your voice or try to do something different, or you just keep keep I'm on with so whatever stupid. you were already doing? I'm, I was so stupid. I just kept going. I just yeah. didn't. <laughs> I sort of thought, well, you don't, you know, just because you don't think it's good enough today does not mean it's not going to be good enough next week. Right. And I, they, it was the easiest thing was yeah to criticize my voice or my stage presence or something like that it wasn't good on stage. I was just learning and growing up. You maybe did a bad show in a pub, right. you know, with like broken mm -hmm. beer bottles flying past your head. You know, it's like I don't know what it was, but I think fondly of those people because they helped me. You know, yeah. they helped me. They, I, they, they, they fed my hunger. You is know, it they, also true? And uh, I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is real or not. <laughs> I heard this, and it kind of seems hard to believe. Although you hear crazier stories about how songs get written and whatever. Sure. The first song that you wrote on your own was "Come Down." Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's real. That's the first song. Wow. Well, what happened is I'd written songs for a number of years, two other bands, uh, where I sang. Yeah. And then the, the second band I was in two other bands. Second band, he didn't want me to play guitar. To play guitar, I wasn't very good. I'm not really that good now, but I'm getting better. <laughs> okay. But I wasn't that good then, and so enjoy your humility. So he mm -hmm. didn't. Um, well, I mean, like really great guitar player. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. About. I'm pretty good, but uh, uh, so he didn't let me play guitar, which is kind of le legit. But at the same time, it's it stopped a whole, well, it stopped a, <laughs> a whole slew of songs, obviously, because I wrote from then when I. Yeah. So when he he left me, and the band broke up, we, the band disbanded. When I was looking for a guitar player, I thought it was particularly weak. That I called myself a songwriter and I couldn't write a song. I was waiting <laughs> okay. for a stranger to meet me. I thought, well, how hard is it? How many chords do you need? I've seen people busking. They're moving their hands four sure. times, three yeah. times. Mm -hmm. So just like, so I sat down and I forced myself to to unlock the the, the magic of songwriting. And and the first song I did write was "Come Down." Wow. wow. That's crazy. That's really yeah. cool. Man, could you hear about I mean, <laughs> it's an annoying bar to step. It's, it's not like it's not well, it's not Been like you were ever since. Here's the thing, it's not like you were selling insurance until that moment and you sat down for the very right. first time you ever held no, a guitar I, I, and you I, wrote come I, I, down. But you had been yeah. doing music, yes. you've yeah. been doing stuff. And I'd written decent songs. I hadn't right. written anything nothing yeah. for Bush. Yeah. I'd written nothing for Bush. I, so that's when people say when you do the second record, oh look, your first album um, is like, oh, it's easy because that's like 20 years of songs since you were like eight years old. Right. And I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> that was like a year and <laughs> yeah. a half of writing. Yeah. So I never had that issue. I never, oh my God. Whenever I go to write a new record, I'm not like, oh my God, how can I ever do it? I've never done it from this way. I always did it this way. But there are first albums, man. Then there's 16 Stone. Yeah. I mean, that is, yeah, we, that's an iconic yeah. album. Oh, it, sure. it's, it's, it's all part of that like generation defining you know, especially for mm -hmm. me. I mean, that mm -hmm. was really. I mean, I, I I knew a lot about alternative and and uh, and you know, new wave or modern rock, whatever they were calling it at the time. And then, you know, I remember the first time I heard Machine Head. Sure. I'm yeah. like, man, this song rules. Yeah. I was just, I was obsessed. And then that whole album. I mean, Glycerine, all these great it's songs. So wild because I things, was, everything's I, in. I was remember writing it. The only reason I talk over you, I apologize. No, you're it's you're because, fine. It's because way more. Interesting. I, I no 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 because you inspire me because it's like. I can tell you exactly what was going on in my head yeah. when I was writing those songs and how I was walking around the park uh, uh, with my dog mm. playing one cassette thing of the riff of Machine Head to yeah. get to get the the words or to get any melody to go with it. So I have all the other side of the story yeah, yeah. where I was when I wrote Glycerine mm -hmm. in my bedroom opposite my 
a brown chest of drawers wow. a tape recorder on the top and it just went and it came out so quick I said one two goes one go uh, the whole song and I was like I was convinced I'd rip someone off and I was like playing it to people going where have you heard this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, I should write this song that was too adult yeah. Yeah. Or too, hey, at least too it wasn't good. like in a diarrhea medication jingle or something like that you know I mean, yeah. something really embarrassing yes. oh my god yeah. I just made a song from the Pepto Bismol song. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> also, true or false, Gavin, you're anti handshaking. Yeah, not a big oh, fan. Oh, I hope oh, not. Oh, I mean, not like a germaphobe. I don't like, I don't do it at shows particularly because I always, people get really um, excited. Yeah. And then they squeeze my hand and I got to go play uh, chords. Oh, right. And yeah, I'm just yeah. like, and I get like, you know, dudes, they want to, yeah. you know, they're very friendly, they but they want to be man. They want to be man. Mm. Yeah. The, you know, so I meet the, 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 the girls and the, when I, I, I hug a girl, hello, but I do just a fist bump because I okay. get my hand crushed. Yeah. And they don't mean to. It's a right. enthusiasm. It's macho. And, we want yeah, to show how cool we are. Super, and I don't like a, I don't like a limp handshake. I'd like a yeah, decent yeah. handshake. Man, yeah. 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 Like a man deep, handshake. It's a, it's, it's a certain amount. You yeah, know, yeah, can't yeah. be too much, too too hard, or too soft. Yeah. Yeah. Do that do perfect that, amount. Yeah, a couple hundred times in a night. And the, often it's like the yeah. last person you think, the, like, the small guy at the end who's got a you know mm. very, very nice smile and says thanks a lot and then squeezes the, the <laughs> crap out of my oh, fingers. Yeah. Like, yeah. So like crunch. And I'm like, ah. And I says the last time I do it and then he's apologizing and I'm crying. You know, my <laughs> band's crying. You got, you, you got, you got a lot of kids <laughs> yes. uh, everywhere. You know, four kids between nine and thirty-four years old. So that's quite wow. the spread, right? Mm -hmm. uh, my mom and I, I got a couple kids, and you know, nobody else in this room does. But like, dude, so one of these things, my mom told me she was horrified. We met the mayor of our town. I was a little kid. Oh, meet Mayor Cantu. And like, uh, I'm like, oh, I grabbed him with both hands and I closed his uh, hand as hard as I could and go, nice to meet you. And my mom was horrified. <laughs> I was trying to crush this guy. Yeah. Yeah. But here I thought it was hilarious. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm. But I, I was a little kid. I'm not trying to break Gavin's hand at no. a concert. And uh, dude, as a big fan of cooking and food and everything else, and you lived in SoCal now for so long, like, what are, like when you're on the road and you're touring everywhere and you think about going home, are there any like in particular like food spots that I, uh, like are must like you, you as soon as you get home you want to you want to get there as soon as you can? Um, I'm still reading for when you went. You're a big fan of when you come back cook, and I was like, what? And you went cooking, cooking. <laughs> what do you think I was gonna say? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. I oh. got lost. I was okay. like, uh, all right. I was like, wow, it's really relaxed at this station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. See where he was going there, Rafe? I do. Yeah. yeah. Rafe's a big fan of that. <laughs> yeah. Mm, and Greg. All of yeah. Actually, and Greg. Yeah. All of Anyhow, yeah. my bad. My bad. And Menace. I've got a terrible. Sure, yeah. No, I'm no, it's all right. I've got a terrible brain, but my brain was <laughs> put me on red alert there. Like, this is a trap. This is entrapment. You know what? Maybe you are, and we went, and we wouldn't judge. Yeah. Uh, so, like, where, where are your go-to food spots around SoCal? Um, well, SoCal, I, I think that uh, I think love up here near where I live. I love Petit Trois, that French restaurant, because I love Chef mm -hmm. Ludo. Um, I like does that um, does um, Piquito Mas. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. In the valley, I kind of like that. Yeah. Little, mm -hmm. little, we got one of those right down the street here feeling, in Burbank. That's right. Feeling for that. That's yeah. um and uh I like the um there's a few Japanese places. I like the clean noodle. Mm. Okay. Really clean noodles and I discovered it recently um at this one place down um uh, Matsuhisa. Oh, they have okay, this yeah. mushroom soup. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh my god! No, I've heard of it. Though. I heard okay. good things. So it's so good. You feel like you're in Japan. I love Japan. I'm oh, big on all things. Menace Japan. has been right telling us about Japan. Oh, what is, so love, I've heard enough yeah. about Japan from Menace. Oh. Yeah. I want to get a different. Per, I know. No, I want to get no. a different perspective. He goes to Japan and ends up like a KFC. Yeah. Right, he goes, exactly. He's like, oh, I'm here in 7-Eleven. He takes pictures of that. Oh, 7-Eleven, the food's incredible. Yeah. What? See, thank the you, eggs. Gavin yeah. Rosdale. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, Chicken, <laughs> what, yes. what is so amazing? Like, what, what made you fall in love with Japan? Uh, that they, their, their attention to detail and mm. their attention to um, the art of everything. You can, they have, they put great, as much uh, power into making um, a noodle, handful noodle, noodle as they do in, um, building a house it's real this sort of what's it uh, onigen what's that sort of honor through your purpose yeah okay. Like, okay. right honor through your purpose and yeah. so everything's incredible and, and they've they've just sort of mastered everything from italian food french food they just taken all this information and they have their incre incredible history of their own so i love the whole kaiseke thing that whole wild cooking there 
I just love everything about Japan, including the Seven Elevens, because they have the, the eggs. <laughs> yeah. They have the eggs in the uh, in that. In Somebody the, backs the, me up. The rice yeah. vinegar and the soy sauce mm -hmm. and, wow. and the sesame. Yeah. Well, and that's I stand really corrected thing. on the Seven Eleven thing. I'm like, dude, you go yeah, all the way to right. Japan, right, and go to like, KFC. Yeah, KFC, like, well, KFC, and KFC is big on, I think, Christmas Day. <laughs> yeah, it is. Because yeah. Christmas Day is tradition well, there. They yeah. have oh. they, it, in in Japan. It's it's KFC yeah. and McDonald's. Yeah, you have to order a month ahead of time for Christmas. Yeah, there you go. But you know, just the simple just the way they do stuff and fashion there is just yeah. clothes mm -hmm. are incredible and all that stuff what's a uh what's a luxury that you enjoy and you don't care what anybody thinks about it because some people are like oh dude i can't believe you would spend that much money on a car or you know ravy gets uh mm -hmm. crap every once in a while because she has a uh, cleaning person come through her little small one bedroom place right but like what's a what's a luxury that you afford yourself that you know just no shame in that weed because you like the oh, yes! weed, okay God, you, you seem, like Was you like the loud? finer things. Did, we, did yeah. we just become best friends? Right. <laughs> Weed, Japan, yeah. wieners, apparently. Oh yeah, God. like come on, dude. When are we hanging out? Yeah. Is that I mean, that's your luxury? Uh, I, you know, it's 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 the um, finest herbs. It's yeah. a really beautiful thing. Um, I just I'm really lucky because I sort of feel sandwiches for life. Just yeah. not really thinking about that, yeah. which is really, you know, I'm, I try and really good with my people and everyone around me, my mm -hmm. family and stuff like that. But that, you know, that, that, that sort of luxury of being able to sort of go out and eat and do anything, you know, a lot of it's people having a hard time. So yeah. I, I consider that the height of luxury being able to kind of go, go chow down wherever I want. You know, yeah. Like All right. Mm -hmm. See, this is a guy after our own heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. He brings donuts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He loves yeah. food. Yeah. I love food. That's his luxury. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, see, see how it's all connected. Yeah. It's all, <laughs> it's all connected. Hey, uh, a parenting question. You know, kids. Segue. Uh, yeah. kids from every age. <laughs> this is the interview they can listen to now. Okay. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> what's the, what's the best stage? I've heard different things from different people. You have mm -hmm. kids in, you know, every stage you know, of, uh, of their development. What, what do you think? Cause people keep telling me like, Oh no, well, it gets one thing easier, that's it gets really better. What's the should, best one? Right. Well, the one thing that people should always be aware of, and it's really true. And I was told this early on is that nothing lasts, no stage lasts. And so the more time depends you spend, on the stage, that can be pretty great. Right. The more, mm -hmm. more time you spend with them and the more, um, less uptight you get about them because it doesn't, you know, obviously you have to have some discipline and stuff like that, but sure. without getting frustrated at them, it's so it's such a waste of time because it's so precious the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and really, it, it it's it's just incredible because every new stage is something incredible, but then you suddenly remember, oh my God, we'd lost that stage. I remember, I'll give you right. one example, one of my first son, and it was really great. His, his room was used to be in the room with us, and then it was in his own room. There's big deal. But the first time that I walked into into his room, there's a little corridor of about 10 feet from, from where, where the bedroom was. The first time that he had got out of his crib and he walked through, he's just standing there mm -hmm. like something out of The Shining. Right. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, it moves. Right. You know? wow. I was it's like, like I wasn't expecting it, yeah. that. I wasn't ready for that stage. Yeah. Yeah. So that was, that was yeah. a king It was beautiful. It was yeah. a great moment. But I was scared of him because yeah. I yeah. hadn't first seen him get out of somewhere right. and walk towards <laughs> wow. me. So that was a deep moment I'll never forget. <laughs> I was a little scared all at once. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gavin Rossdale from Bush is here. Alter Ego 2024, Paramore, Bush, Black Keys, Sum 41, the 1975, 30 Seconds to Mars, Yellow Card, Lovely the Band, and more. Saturday, January 13th at the Honda Center in Anaheim. Uh, Capital One cardholder presale begins next Tuesday. That's the 24th. General on sale next Friday, the 27th. You got Bush's Loaded, the greatest hits album, 1994 to 2023. Uh, that's going to be out November 10th. Pre-orders are live now. But their new single, Nowhere to Go But Everywhere, uh, that is streaming everywhere right now. Make sure you go catch Bush if you can't see him at Alter Ego. Mm -hmm. You go see him on their North American tour, which gets underway November 14th in Orlando. The always nice, kind, and as we learned today, humble mm -hmm. chef himself, yes. Yes. Gavin Rossdale. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Dude, thank you so much for, uh, for coming in. We're looking forward to seeing right, you at Alter Ego. So Good to see you guys. All right, it's thank The Woody you. Show. We'll be right back.